remember making that joke a few times. I'm not sure if those episodes are even out yet, because that's how, you know, the backlog, you know... We got, like, I'll record a thing back in August uh, 2016, and it's been released in 2018. And so I have no idea when anything's being released. I have no idea, have I made that joke yet? Have I not? If I make it now, has my original telling become done? Like, you know, that's you've already made that joke, even though that's the first time you've made it. You know. Does shit get whack, yo? Jeez. You know, I'm actually very tempted in going back and doing the first mission again, just to get that secret. Keep a beat. Keep going. Okay, Razor Face is the only one I have a presence that can't actually hurt um, ra uh, ranged units. And his uh, biggest thing. Ooh. They're gonna die. Uh, and his biggest thing is. Uh, well, and one of his. Sorry. And one of his things, Spiny Shell, is completely worthless against Terra. Because they have absolutely no melee units. It's somewhat useful against Prodos, but that's it. And even then, I question if we're going to run into Pro uh, Protoss. Okay, over here. Calling some reinforcements. You pop that. Pop that. He's gonna. Yes, he's gonna crumble. And that's auto synthesizing. That is beautiful. Doesn't cost me ammo. Okay. What? I have only one? Get in there, you bastards. Um. Get some commandos. Oh, a E tree. Go here, then there. Okay. Heal. Stim. Of course, since we're doing it in combat, if they're already being well done, then it's not going to. Um, stop, then it's not going to really heal them much, but it will heal the rest of them somewhat. So, that's useful. Oh shit. Um, uh, no, don't lead them to the base. I guess you're just gonna have to die. Not really a cheap sacrificial unit. Okay. Unblock the base. Um. Uh, Christ. Uh, no, there's Sphinx. Pull back. Pull back. Get in there. No, get in there. Hallelujah. At least they're in range of these cannons. Some of them. Get you out. He attacked it there. Actually, Marshall here. Okay, there's no minerals left there. They've been mining them themselves. Okay. Attack there. I assume there's going to be a second part to this mission. You know, like the last one. Ooh. I think we saw some striker units over here. So, well, some of the strikers. At least. Somehow it's getting lifesteal by beating on buildings. Also, I wonder if there's going to be more than one secret, as I am noticing a few side paths. Then again, they could be tied into the secondary objective of the tank. Then again, there was kind of three to the last thing. Firstly, is setting up the other things. You know, firstly setting up the bunkers, then investigating Glacier, then going into the other map. Wonder if there's going to be a similar thing here. Then again, this part did take as long as the two parts on the other thing, so maybe there will just be the second map. We'll have to wait and see. I'm, I am really impressed with what's been done so far. Though. Very well done. Okay, so this is just where the uh, other bay was. And not Michael, for once. 
keep going. there. Okay, everyone mobilize here. Thankfully, they've never decided, you know what, let's push this, th you know, mostly destroy debris over and move into the base. It's been quite nice and decided not to do that. So now I can just march in and crush them with my fastly bur burlier army. Also, I'm noticing all the little lights on them, on, on the front of the uh, vehicles. I'm just checking back here to make damn sure there isn't a second secret. Huh. Okay, that's clearly going to be important. I doubt they'll go through the effort of adding in something like that. If it's not going to be important. Then again, maybe it's to uh, add some flavor to the world. You know? I'm actually really excited. I really want to see more of this. The only thing stopping me is me not playing fast enough. Okay, move up, move up, move up. Engage. Feast. Quake. I love its little jump. It's cute. Attack. Keep it going. Oh, maybe, I, maybe that's where the pilots come from. Yes, that looks it. Same with over here. Your yes, that's it. Or at least appears to be, anyway. We'll have to blast through these doors. All the remaining striking workers have barricaded themselves inside. The factory's got two main doors. Our best bet is to send in two breaching teams simultaneously. But before we send these teams in, let's take a peek at the f uh, factory surveillance feed. See what they're up to. Up to. Uh, many instructors are injured. They seem to be surrendering. It smells like a trap. They deserve as much mercy as they've gotten so far. Let's finish this. Allow the surrounding strikers to live. Regardless of what happens here today, some of the workers will be needed to efficiently run the factory. Kill them all, even if they fight to the last man. This will send a message down to future troublemakers who get any bright ideas. I remember I... Oh, fucking Microsoft, scared the shit out of me. It's like, can't install updates! No shit, I got it the last hundred fucking times. Oy. Um, there is a thing in Roman history. Okay, to give you a slight idea, a thing, you know the word dictator, that probably puts in the mind uh, Hitler, Stalin, Pol Pot, or probably Hitler to most people, and uh, I don't, personally I don't really think of Pol Pot uh, myself much, I don't know much about the guy, I know more about Stalin, I know he was a cunt in some country far to the east of Ireland, but that's it, uh, but anyway, Hitler, Stalin, that's what you think when you hear dictator. In the Roman Republic, I'm going to also be accepting the surrender because the guy's twitching out in the back, and I'm not that much of a cunt. Um, I, I kind of feel bad for the poor bastard. Um, but anyway, in the Roman Republic, uh, a dictator was someone granted particular powers to achieve a certain end. So Pompey was named a dictator to end the pirate menace. Uh, that was actually so de devastating. It was actually hurting Rome. They were so powerful. The pirates were able to strike at coastal s uh, settlements, uh, dis disrupt trade lines, and even have their own ports where they could set up shop unmolested. And they did the disrupting trade lines and attacking coasts so much that they were actually able to start starving out Rome. Or it start starving Rome. Prices of bread rose dramatically because of this. And the moment Pompey was declared dictator with the intent of him solving this, he was given a select amount of powers for a select time period. A couple, like five years, he could, he had power over the Mediterranean Sea and so many miles inland in case the pirates were 
so many miles inland. So they could just stand on the shore and go, nah, 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 ah. Totally their reasoning. Uh, no, but, but it's partially their reasoning, so basically he could actually truly deal with the part menace. Um, and the moment he was declared dictator, the price of bread dropped. But apparently out of a show of faith in how in Pompey's ability. Because up to then, apparently he had been non-defeated as a general. Certainly we never talked about any of his defeats as a general, bar the one when he went up against Julius Caesar. The one where he had his heart in it. Um, he had help, though, in not being defeated at other times uh, by... Uh, Mitridates dealing with himself, and he, Mitridates was quite a dangerous king from Macedonia, I do believe. He um, he would raise an army, Pompey would fight it, but Mitridates would be gone, and he'd be somewhere else after raising another army. Mit Pompey would go and fight it, fighting other people in the way, including the legendary Amazons. It's believed it was just tales of horny soldiers, but it's unsure. What's true? What's not? And I'm not sure if horny was the word they used, but that's the word I'm using. Uh, but yeah, and Pomp, uh, Mat uh, Mitridates did himself in when his uh, one of his other sons, uh, like his f last son, so that was on his side, sided with the Romans. Uh, Pompey double, you know, checked the body. He w he knew action movies. He was going to be careful. Um, another time, he was going up against rogue general in Spain. And the rogue general was a worthy adversary. It was actually quite a danger to Pompey. Pompey actually quite... It, like, he, was, he was difficult for Pompey to deal with. Until the general got stabbed in the back by a subordinate who was much less of a adversary. Pompey dealt with it on marching home, wiped up the remnants of Spartacus' slave rebellion, and sent back a message to Rome proclaiming that he had dealt with it totally by himself. Or he took full credit for it, the victory, even though someone else had done the bulk of the work. They had broke the slave army. Some had just gotten away. But uh, yes, dictator was the other thing. The point of what I was getting at was, remember those pirates? Pompey actually treated them quite humanely, apparently. He captured them, didn't kill them. Um... Well, I'm sure some died in the process, but in general he captured them alive and treated them quite well. As so much so that they were quite willingly turned on their uh, their allies. Uh, I was going to say their captives, but parts had no captives. They were captives. Uh, well, once uh, Pompey got them, he uh, treated them well enough that they were actually quite willingly sided with him against their own you know people. And he then settled them as farmers. Apparently this discouraged other pirates. I don't know how, they got free land. Unless the detail we're missing is, they were now slaves. He enslaved them and put them as farmers on a place. Because just the detail we got was, they were now farmers on a place, not enslaved. And then becoming like, oh, you're a pirate, here's some free land. Become a farmer. You've no real choice in the matter, but you're a farmer and a free man. You know, that kind of thing. Rather than, you know, shackles. Um... That was the kind like we weren't told they were enslaved, so it's fair to assume that they weren't enslaved, you know. But I don't see how that discouraged anyone, unless you're going for the you know glorious war, you know glorious death kind of thing, you know that's encouraging others for to, who you know seek see glory in combat rather than being made into a farmer, you know. <laughs> But yeah, basically he uh, apparently dissuaded other pirates from rising by making farmers. Funny enough, uh, one of his sons, after Pompey's death, became a pirate. Uh, Pompey, or Sextus, Pompey, Pompey, Sextus, uh, king of the pirates. Uh, Julius Caesar killed the kid. Uh, Julius was actually a good friend of Pompey, and he, well, he actually cried when Pompey was ex was killed by. Cleopatra's brother. Though, a lot of people, I'm sure, don't know she had a brother. I certainly know I didn't until I took the classics course. The br uh, Cleopatra and her... I'm just done with the history, history lesson. I just meant to say the thing about the pirates, because him saying kill them all reminded me of it. Pompey's decision to let them live wasn't liked, but apparently had great results. Allegedly. I just never seen... I was never explained how. But, uh... 
uh, pa uh, uh, Cleopatra's brother was advised by his advisor to uh, kill Pompey. Julius Caesar had just fought a civil war with Pompey. It's just Julius Caesar on his own side, Pompey on the side of the Senate. Julius Caesar the entire time had been pleading for peace, but the Senate was saying it was a trap to Pompey, and Pompey was the dutiful servant of the nation, and as such went along with what they were saying. But he was so disillusioned during the last fight, he was seeing the battle turn against him, sat it out in his tent, and waited for the men to arrive. It, 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 Julius, it, Caesar's men to arrive. When they did, he was out. There was some talking, I presume, and he was left to get on a ship with his family and leave. They sailed to Egypt, a uh, a, a place under Roman rule, and that's where, uh, you know, it was under governorship of, you know, well, it was I think it was actually in this. The governorship was kind of up in the air at the moment because Cleopatra and her brother wanted it. Cleopatra's brother, as I said, was advised by his advisor to kill Pompey and serve up his head on a platter to Caesar to curry favor. Uh, I guess the logic must have been that they've fought a civil war, they mustn't be quite good friends. Killing the guy after he must have escaped would be a good way to gain favor. But instead, Pom Caesar left Pompey go, and such broke down in tears at seeing his friend's head served up to him on a plate. The assassins were killed. Ju uh, uh, Cleopatra's brother and his advisor disappeared. Uh, Parmenides was always paranoid, wondering about the phrasing of that, though, because it could easily imply that the assassins themselves weren't killed, but the brother and the vizier were disappeared and killed. They, they probably died in either case, but there was some weird phrasing. And Julius Caesar named Cleopatra uh, governor, and he also shagged her. So, yeah. He slept around a lot. You know, et tu, Brutus? The reason he... Um, he said that was Brutus was his son, apparently. Remember seeing something else was a Deep Space Nine episode claiming he was his friend, but according to my, you know, Roman history teacher, it was he was actually his son. Brutus found out afterwards and committed suicide over it. Um, it's actually like an action movie, though, that bit. I've said this elsewhere, but I'm saying it here because I'm hoping more people will see this one and the other stuff has, isn't out yet. Uh, it'll be out, you know, sometime in the distant future, like a year plus time. But anyway, 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 the the eyes of you know Julius Caesar's assassination. It's a bit like an action movie. Julius Caesar in the or history things was played up as he, he was you know slight of body. He didn't have a great physical build, but he still participated in physical activities such as combat and I think menial tasks around the camp. I think that was one of them. I know he fought, but I can't remember the other one precisely. I know he did dine with his soldiers. They were having gruel. He had gruel. Though not in a human centipede sort of way, but uh, but in a, you know, he gets food from the same pot kind of way. He didn't dine in his own tent with his own food. He ate with his men. He did a lot of things to curry favor with them. He paid them out of his own pocket like all generals did. But he paid them ex- well, most generals did. The Senate didn't pay their men at all. They refused to. So the general would have to pay themselves, uh, pay the men themselves. Reforms were brought in by another general, and other generals followed suit. Before, if you want to be cavalry, you had to bring your own horse. Now, the horses and equipment and training were provided, as was the pay. As was the salary. Um, there's other little tidbits I could say, but I'll leave them to another time. This is um, this is about the assassination. He was, you know, they emphasized his build, he even had seizures apparently, but he still participated in all this stuff. And now he's like over t uh, 12, maybe more assassins coming at him, armed with daggers, and I question how well armed he was. No one has ever mentioned a weapon on him, only on his assassins. Of course, maybe they're just forgetting to mention that important point. But he is capable of defending himself, apparently, until he notices his son among them, and to Brutus, and he starts succumbing to his enemy's attacks before he perishes. Isn't that it's like something out of a you know a you know a sad action you know action movie kind of thing? You know. And uh, on the side, side note, Mark Antony actually had to be kept out of the place, you know, distracted or whatever, because he was built like a boxer. He was a, a big, burly guy. And if Julius Caesar, the not big, burly guy, was giving issue, <laughs> from the sounds of it, Mark Antony could probably, if this is my take on it, probably picked up one of the assassins and started smack using him as a weapon. Just using...